Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at another bypass for Bifron. Now, I did make a video recently where I explained how you can bypass with a program called Fiddler. However, a lot of people were experiencing issues with that. So I do have another method for you today. Now, make sure you watch the video to the very end so you don't miss any of the important steps. And let's get right into it. You will be needing three of these files. All of the downloads will be linked down in the description below. So firstly, you need a downgrade tool. If you already have this installed, then that's good. Essentially, you need to be receiving this error right here. If you're not already receiving this, then go ahead and click on reinstall and that should give you that error. Once you do have that error, go ahead and close out of Microsoft Store for now and go ahead and open up the HTTP debugger, which will be linked down in the description. Once you have set it up and you open it, you will get this alert right here. Make sure you click this and click on yes and add the certificate that it asks you to add. Once you have done that, at this point, go ahead and click on settings and click import and click on OK. From here go ahead and select the bypass file which will be linked down in the description once you have selected it click on open and that should tell you to restart the http debugger at this point go ahead and click on ok and go ahead and close it and open it back up one more time and when you do open it go ahead and click on the auto reply tab and then click on see all rules and you should see a new rule added right here which should look something like this. Once you see this added right here, go ahead and go back into the Microsoft Store and click on play and that should load you into Roblox without any issues. As you can see, it did not give me any error. And at this point, you can go ahead and open up any executor of your choice and go ahead and inject that into the game. So let's go ahead and click on inject or attach and let's go ahead and load into the game and we'll also go ahead and grab a script and let's try this out. Here we go, we just loaded into the game. Let's go ahead and add the script and click on execute. And there we go, the bypass method is working. If you guys are still experiencing issues with that, then feel free to leave a comment down below or join my Discord server for a faster response and I will try to help everyone out. Now, with that being said, that is the end of the video. Hopefully you did like it. If you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel and as always, thanks for watching.